Today I'm going to demonstrate the performance that you can expect when running IO Quake 3 on a Silicon Graphics Indigo 2 R10000 system with max impact graphics and 1 megabyte of TRAM installed. Okay, I'm going to start off by taking you through the system settings. The graphics settings are custom, the GL drive is default, GL extensions are on, the video mode is 640x480, as this is pretty much the best resolution that you're going to get from a graphics card such as this one. The color depth is default because it's running in a windowed mode, full screen is off, the lighting is vertex lighting, geometric detail is high, the texture detail I'm going to turn down for now, I'm going to put them pretty much in the medium settings level and texture quality I'm going to set to 16 bits and the texture filter I'm going to keep it trilinear. Okay, so I'm going to go into a single player game. Let's see how she runs. This may not actually work the first time as you often end up having to restart the game once just to get the textures to load properly. We'll see how it goes this time. Okay, and there you've got that error. You can see that there's a problem with the sky. So I'm just going to exit the arena quickly. Okay, reload it. You do get a similar problem with the Tezra's B12 as well. That you have to restart the game in order to get it to run properly. Okay, that looks a lot better. And as you can see, the performance isn't that bad. I'm getting between, I'd say, 10 and 15 frames a second currently. And it's not too bad if you consider that this machine was built pretty much between 1995 and 1996. And Quake 3 Deathmatch Arena came out quite a few years later. Another thing to bear in mind when talking about the Indigo 2 R10,000 Max Impact system is the Max Impact graphics board set which is currently running in this machine was the best desktop graphics system available back in the year 1996. So even though it's running in a windowed mode at 640 by 480 it's still pretty remarkable that this machine can actually run this game. Okay, I'm going to stop it here, and I'm now going to go into setup again, and set the graphics to maximum. Okay, so I'm going to set texture detail to maximum, and set the texture quality to 32 bits. The lighting, however, I am going to leave it in the vertex lighting mode. Let's see how the machine runs now. Okay, the textures look quite a bit better now. And I'm currently getting about, what, nine, six to, to uh, between six and 12 frames a second. Okay, it's nowhere nearly as smooth as it was before, but it's still kind of playable. 
But even though the performance here is pretty bad, it's pretty remarkable if you think of the vintage of this machine. This is a machine from 1996 running Quake 3 Deathmatch Arena with high graphics settings. Okay, so that concludes my demonstration of this game on this machine. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.